In this tutorial, we're going to look at an example of how you can combine some of the techniques we've been learning to produce a really good result. I'm going to use the text tool to create a new word, and I think I'll use hello, and I'll make it pretty big. Now I can't drag that any bigger, so I'll have to type in the new number. I can make it whatever color I like though, so we'll go with that. If I want these letters to appear in an interesting way on the screen, I might press F5 to give them some time, and then I might break them apart. Not twice, but just the once. Now I'm going to use Modify Timeline Distribute to Layers, and I'll see that I've put each of those onto their own layer, and it's created them as a separate object. Now they're not yet a symbol, so I'm going to go through and mark each one of these as a symbol. I'm going to press F8, I'm going to give them a number, and then the character that they need to be. The reason I give them a number is so that I can identify them in order, because a word like hello will have two letters, which are both L. This will also help keep them in order in the library panel. So in my library now I've got five letters, each in order, which if I needed to change them, I can easily identify which is which. Now for each of these letters, I'm going to pick a motion preset, and I'm going to have them fly in from the top. If I select my H and say fly in top and apply, then that will simply fly it in and down. Now in this case, it's used my initial position as a starting point, but I can change that. I'm gonna select all of these at once now, choose motion presets and do fly in top one more time, and they'll all be applied at the same time. All I need to do then is to select an entire range of frames at once and move them over, and they will indeed stagger as they come in. If I do that, I'm getting hello, like so. At the moment, they're all coming in in order, but it would be fairly trivial to select one of these and move it down the timeline to effectively randomize the order in which they appear. To get them all to finish at the same spot, I could select all the way down and then press F5. Now the only reason that didn't work here on the O is we've got a uh, rogue blank keyframe here. So I'm going to press Shift F6 to remove that keyframe and allow the animation to finish at the appropriate time. And now the animations will still take the same amount of time, that is full at the same rate, but then they will stay afterwards. Dragging down and pressing F5 is an extremely helpful technique when you want to add a bit of space in an animation. You can use this technique with any word you like. All you need to do is add a motion preset or perhaps create an animation manually and then you copy that or apply the same motion preset to all of these elements and move each of them slightly down the timeline so that they end up being staggered. 